What Happened This Week podcast. Just two best friends chatting in the trailer about all the things you are thinking about. Because you never know with Kim and Trisha. Straight out of the trailer. Man, I thought we were going to be straight out of the hospital. I know by now. What are, exactly. what's, the, what's the status? What's going on with uh, uh, our baby? He's a big boy. He's breached. So, um... Is he to the left breach or to the right breach? So he's, his head is up. His head is up. Oh, I thought breach meant there's, sideways. There's, so I looked it up. Okay. I, I was... This morning I looked it up because I'm really concerned, like, do I call... The, I've been having contractions all morning. And, um, I was worried, like, okay, because he's breached, like, what can happen is the umbilical cord can wrap around his neck. So, especially if my water breaks and it has not broken. But the doctor called me yesterday. It's crazy. Saturday called me. Just wanted to be like, hey, your baby's breached. I'm like, yeah. Knew that. I knew that yesterday when I saw the other doctor. But um, he's, I saw him Tuesday, and he was like, did I tell you it was breached on Tuesday? I said, yeah, you told me you couldn't tell if you were touching his head or his hip. Okay. He's like, yeah, okay, sounds about right. You know, but he was super nice. He was just like, listen, anything, anything that you think you're going into labor, you call us immediately. You tell him my baby is breached. That way we can have a game plan for when you get to the hospital. He must be on call this weekend. Gotcha. So, you know, but super nice for him to call me from home yeah. or wherever he was, you know. Um, but so tomorrow they're going to call me to schedule delivery, C-section. Um, in the event that he doesn't turn, they have to have a, they want to have it scheduled. Gotcha. So that the doctors know, the hospitals know, everyone's ready to go. And then um, Tuesday I go back to see the doctor who called me on Saturday. He's their breach specialist to see about... If he's going to be able to turn him, if that's the case, they'll check in at the hospital and he will break your water and try to turn him and induce labor. I just don't understand how, how he can go. I mean, can I be a breach specialist? I mean, is there like a cla- like a certification you got to take for this? I don't know. And I was it's so crazy. Yesterday we went in the pool, in Shannon's pool, and I'm wondering, like, maybe he can turn himself because, like, there's nothing hold, like, there's no gravity at this point in right. the pool, right? So he's just like, and I do have a lot of ambiotic fluid. That's why he's breached because... He was breached like a month and a half ago, and then he wasn't, and now he is. Like he has so much room in there, he's able to turn himself around, it's like the hokey pokey. But um, so I was wondering if like being in the pool, I could help him turn, turn around. himself around. Maybe because he's so big, like he's a big yeah. boy. Maybe that's a little struggle and too. And you know for him. what? Like I'm also this is God's plan. Right. It's true. If he's breached, he needs to come, you know, via C-section. Then so be it. Like it's all right. Like maybe. God's plan is he's too big for you, honey. You can't deliver him, you know? That's like, right. It's so everything happens for a reason. Yeah, definitely. You know? I mean, mm-hmm. it's, it, it is what it is. You can't really control no. Mother Nature and how things are going to play we out. Have, we have medicine. Right. So that I don't have to deliver a breech baby. Exactly. Know? Yeah, so that's, that's very that's true. Just, like, just go with the flow. That's right. You know? Don't stress it. No. What so. will happen will happen. Exactly. Except for trying to get the baby out, though. I have tried. I've gone through the list of uh, old wives' tales on uh trying to have this baby is cartwheels on there i feel like active. cartwheels would active. help it was it walking more so i walking. just feel like cartwheels would help with breach because i'm just imagining you need to turn him right so i'm thinking as i mean i can't do cartwheels i can try um we could try to do it in, yeah. in, the, in the backyard if you want when we get done recording i'm all set okay all set. i'll spot you yeah, exactly you may need to spot me that may and that in itself would be a hot mess they would be looking outside the window going what in the hell are they exactly. doing no so uh, yeah we've done um Everyone keeps telling me Jason, Bob, and Shannon, because Shannon did castor oil with Weston, but I just don't want to, uh, I don't want the runs. Yeah, it definitely, um, I did castor oil with Taylor, and I have to say that, you know, when I have said the story before, people kind of look at me odd. Castor oil, there is castor oil, like the brand for oil for cards, not that kind of, I didn't taint my baby with castor no. oil from a car. great, you did food grade castor food grade. oil. And there, I bought it at Peggy's at a local health food store, and I took like a tablespoon And you're supposed to wait six hours before you take another tablespoon. But what it's supposed to do is create, it's like a, it's, it's a, like a, not a laxative. It's like a laxative. It stimulates. It stimulates stimulates the intestines. The intestines, which then in turn stimulates the uterus, which it vibrates. So I took a tablespoon and then like an hour later, nothing happened. So I took two tablespoons. (laughs) I'll tell you what, by midnight I was on. Joe had come home from work, and I was like, we're having this baby now. Either I'm going to poop it out or I'm going to push it out because this is – it definitely works. But I was very shameful of saying why or how I went into labor because I just thought that I had – I mean, as I wanted the baby out, I just thought maybe this was bad. But it, the reality is that's what they used to use back in the old right, days. So right. it's nothing but – maybe I took a little excessive amount. I definitely got a colon cleanse. The concern was is that when I was trying to push – 
I wasn't just only trying to push the baby out. I was trying to do other things. So that made it a very uncomfortable situation because that's your worst fear, right? Is you don't want to do that number two. I think it happens no matter what. Yeah, and I know, but there's a fear, right? Because mm-hmm. there's a level of fear. If you do that, right. then they can breathe it in like Kelly's baby. I mean, that's mm-hmm. what happened. He had to get airlifted, the whole nine things. So you really, I mean, it's going to happen because you can't control right. your bowels, right? I mean, it's a whole well, a lot other of times world. Babies poop, poop inside. inside. Exactly. That's what, that Gavin did that, but he wasn't in long enough for that. But I mean, like, women, you're pushing so hard. hard it's going to happen. Gonna come. And having a good doctor or midwife, you would never, I didn't know. My sister's like, yeah, but she was fine. She just kept wiping. I was like, for real? Yeah. Especially when you have an epidural, you don't know what's going on. No, there. girl, I was like, whatever. Whatever, just, just get this baby's out. Who cares who's in the room? No. Just get them out. Exactly. You just hope that your your uh, mm-hmm. your uh, hoo ha is looking nice and pretty. But at that point, you don't even care. You got girl, so much I had drugs to shave in yesterday you. Yesterday, because we went to the pool, and I was like, anytime I see anybody in my bathing suit, I'm like, listen, I can't see down there. So if y'all are seeing something that I can't see, I'm sorry. Like, yeah. sorry. This is kind of how it goes. So, um, yeah, I do my best. That's it. Like, Jason was getting Reagan ready, so he couldn't come and help me. And I'm, like, in the bathroom. I'm like, what? you know what? One leg it up. I don't even care. You could put a mirror. Yeah, well, I was in the mirror, but girl, it's still... I mean, How like, are you in... Oh, you mean, like, looking in the mirror. You could put yeah. a mirror down below oh, yeah, and hold no, a mirror. I mean, That's a little I like, much. I kind of like, like, one side, then I did, like, the other side. <laughs> I was like, got some, I got my pits. Like, this goes, goes gets. That's it. You know? I have to say, thank you for letting me watch your your Hulu. Oh, is, are you watching Handmaid's Tale? I am. I'm like, who's watching this? I thought maybe it was my mom, and because I, I was on last night, or I just like go and says continue watching, and I'm like, I was like, who's watching it? Because we watched them all, so I thought it was my mom. So but. the funny thing is, the other night when I was watching with James, it started to break out and and out, and I was like, Trisha, get off my Hulu. <laughs> I said it out loud. <laughs> James goes, are we using theirs? I'm like, whatever. I'm like, I'm trying to time it because I'm like, well, I know that. They're not watching Hulu when Reagan's up. Right. And so I'm thinking, well, hmm, it's like 9 o'clock. They may be trying to get on this thing. So it might be them. I was trying to time it. I, was at, I started watching Handmaid's Tales, uh-huh. and James wants to dress up. He wants to be the commander. That's what we were last year for Halloween. That's Were you? Yeah, so Jason and I were. I don't remember that. We went to a Halloween party okay. with people, like, um, and it was a week after Halloween. And I had just recently found out I was pregnant, so it was even funnier. Like, So, like, yes. you took it. I was like... I'm of Jason. It's like I'm saying I'm of Jason, and like, um, it was just so funny. Like the like nobody knew we were pregnant, and so it was. For Did us. you wear the the red? Yeah, I have it in storage. Oh, do you? No, yeah, in storage. So I probably you, won't be able to fit into it. It's well, a one size fits all, girl. It's a robe. It's oh. like it's amazing. It was the best thing ever because I was pregnant. Right, you're comfortable. And like the beginning of pregnancy, where you're just real bloated and like bleh, and nobody knows you're pregnant. So like, man, she put some weight on. I'm certainly not wearing a cute Halloween costume. Perfect. That's uh, that's uh, I have to keep that in mind. Uh, Taylor yeah. said that was like that movie is so that series is so old that nobody would know. But I did some research because of what course about? It's, it's still ongoing. I know they just signed up for the fourth season. Yeah, what is she talking about? I don't know. You know, I'm not cool. What can I say? So I I have to say I binge watched all week, stayed up till midnight, one o'clock in the morning. So I got all the way. I got season one and season two done. I'm good like that. If I get on yeah. something, I'll it, watch it's it. It's that good though. Oh yeah, it is. James thinks it's like all dark. I lost him, I think, halfway through season one. And then I start watching it, and he's like, I don't know what's going on. I'm like, you should have just, like, yeah, you should have stayed attention. with me. Stayed I mean, with there's me. parts that, like, I, I cried in that show. Like, when she, like, goes back about, like, with her daughter, or, like, yes. when they take her and stuff like that. Like, especially because I have, like, Reagan, and it was like, oh, my God. Like, Can you imagine? Her no. No. I know. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty intense. It's pretty really intense. good, she's, And she's a good actress, oh, she's for sure. she's very good. She plays a part. Mm-hmm. So I have to admit that I got to episode three of season three, okay. right? Okay. And I couldn't handle it anymore. I'm like, I can't keep staying up and doing this. So I went and read all of the footnotes of the se- of this additional or all the shows. And then I skipped all the way to, to the last one, what? to 13. And I realized I missed a lot in between, but I did the recap when I read it. So, yeah, so I can't wait for season four. Oh. So thank you for the Hulu, because James had actually, he had heard about it on a radio station, and we couldn't get it on Netflix. Right. And I had, he had said, oh, my gosh, we have Hulu. I'm like, we don't have Hulu. We have Trisha's Hulu. Let's make that clear. We're going to get our own Hulu, by the no, way. It's fine. We're moving to the camper. Fine. I've been watching uh, Marrying Millions. Okay. I saw that. That's <laughs> what I just continue to watch. I'm like, why is she messing me up? But I did see that one. So is it somebody, that, is it like a real it's, estate show? It's a real, no, no, it's a reality show. It's not terrible. I was like, whatever. I was looking for something to watch. Jason was like in the living room and I was 
like watching something and I was like, I'm gonna go to bed and w find something myself to watch. And I've already watched, or I caught a cup up, I caught up on Vanderpump and like the reunion show. I'm gonna watch. I'm like, whatever, I'll find, I'll watch it. Um, it's like one girl's like 21 and she's dating like a 60 year old man who's rich. And then there's like um, a ex baseball player's ex wife and she's dating like a 20 year old. Okay. Like, and they're rich. So, like, marrying millions. Like, that's the concept. If one person's not rich and the other one is. Right, right. That's well, not bad. Okay. I'll have to check it out then. I'm on, like, episode three. All right. I'll have to check that out. Well, when we move into the camper, I told James that we can't have Comcast cable. Not that we can't have Comcast cable, but we just have internet. So, we're going to pick up Hulu. So, we'll have Hulu. We'll have, we already have Netflix. So, I, uh. We already have Amazon. We already have Amazon. That's right. And so, you know what I'm having a real struggle with? Hmm. Finding 19-inch and 26-inch TVs. I heard. I was going to, I looked at Walmart, nothing. The biggest Walmart had, or the smallest, I should say, is 32-inch. And then I went to Walmart.com. Can't find them. Amazon doesn't have them either. They had one. I take that back. They had a 26 for $200. And I'm like, that's ridiculous. When mm -hmm. I get a 32 for 118 mm -hmm. So I'm going to check out Best Buy. So that's my next struggle. I mean, I guess most people aren't used to having that small of a TV. Maybe I have to go to yard sales. You think, maybe you just got this one, though. I don't know where she got it. You should have asked her. The one in here behind you. Yeah. I'll have to ask her because that's about, mm -hmm. that's, that's probably about a 26. That's what would fit into one of the bedrooms. Yeah. I'll have to ask her. Definitely. Did you all have to figure out the room situation? No, not yet. Not until we, uh, not until we land the plane. So once we uh, get in there, we're going to. We do know that they're both queens, so they're, mm -hmm. they're the same size, but we're just trying to think of storage. Um, James wants the room with the bigger hole right. for the TV, so that may be the one with that we take, which will have our own door. So, And that'll be interesting, too, um, because on the next episode, by then, I will be moved into the Finally. camper. Finally. I mean, have you moved yet? <laughs> I am. I'm tired of it. I bet people are tired of hearing me talk about this baby. They're probably tired of hearing you but about you moving. Just do it already, right? So what I, size you need? I need a uh, well, I need a 19 inch, no bigger than a 19 inch, mm -hmm. and no big, and another one is a 26 inch. Well, this one's a 23 at Home Depot for 23 bucks. At Home Depot, is it a smart TV? Well, oh, I can wait, make, no, this is an entertainment. If it's I can make it a I can uh, I can always make it smart by doing a Roku to it, so that's okay too. So I can yeah, make don't them. worry. I wouldn't worry about being smart. No, no, because I can just buy that little component mm -hmm. and do that. So we're definitely working on um, transitioning into the camper. I've got a lot of stuff packed. I'm tired of moving stuff. Oh, I, I bet. I am just like, I'm over it. I sold something yesterday. I have someone picking up my refrigerator today, so I'm excited about that. I thought, I thought that. you were giving that away. Um, I did. I gave it away for free. I, um, initially, the original uh, folks didn't want it, so now I put it up there for Facebook for free. And oddly enough, um, Danielle's cousin, Hope, saw it. She's like, Dave needs ones for a shop, so she, they're coming over after nice. 1 o'clock. So kind of where it's dirty. You know, it was funny because I moved everything from the outside fridge, which is where we normally keep our alcoholic beverages, to the <laughs> inside. And James was like, where's all of our beer? I'm like, I drank it all. But the reality is I had moved it all in there. Uh -oh. um, we made a hodgepodge of dinner. We're just trying to cook all the stuff, you know, because I'm moving from a freezer and a refrigerator to a shoebox. So I have to minimize. So I'm just, you know, I, I'm not going grocery shopping. We're just going to eat what we have. And I did check out my new home, no flooding, a, so that's good. So it's, that's promising. Absolutely. Well, I mean, your house would be higher anyway. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what I said too, to James. <laughs> it's gonna be on uh, stilts or whatever yeah. you call it. So <laughs> we're we're pretty good, you know. You're, you're built for floods. I know. Not built for hurricane, but you are built for floods. I know. We were talking about that. Like, where? What are we gonna do for hurricane You're just gonna move. Pack I, your house and go. That's that's what I said. I said, you know, we could just go across the state. He's like, but you know, it, it'd be it'll be tough to try to find open slots because we had a tough time with i mean four days i mean it's probably just, i didn't realize how well i mean who cares if you're just trying to avoid the storm you could sleep at a rest area and oh, then yeah. just keep driving and then just come home i mean right. like you don't necessarily need to stay right. somewhere um jason's cousin and her husband um and their two kids they just had another little girl last like a month and a half two months ago um they live in their camper um on their property which is next door to her parents on like close to tampa Anyway, um, and their camper is like small, like y'all are living like in a mansion, you know, cause they just bought this camper to live in while they build their house, you know, so not right. something that at any rate, um, so I was talking to her this week and I was like, Hey, I heard you might be coming over here like in a few weeks to, you know, hang out. She's like, yeah. And I was like, she's like, we just pack up our, we just hook it to the car and go. So you they're just coming. Yeah. They, like, 
You know how, how awesome that is? You know how hard it is to pack up small children? Right. Like, you you have to have a camper to bring all the stuff your small children need. They just brought it all. That's it. It's awesome. It's a house on wheels. So there is a benefit to that, yes. for sure. Yes. Not having a washing machine and dryer, but there's a wash house down the way. So I've been saving my quarters. I got all my quarters. I told you you could wash here. I know. But, I mean, they got, they got, pl- they, it's yeah. open 24-7. They have city water there? They do have city water right, there. Because we don't have city water here. I know. Maybe I'll have to send you home with my wife. I know, right? I, my <laughs> hair's going to love me because I've been washing my hair in well water. Mm. Um, so yeah, it's going to be quite interesting. So we, uh, so this weekend or this, this week will, weekend will be the following when this drops on Friday, I'm taking off that Friday and I'll be, uh, out of my house. Wow. Bittersweet, bittersweet. You know, it's nine years of memories for James, six years for me, you know, and I was like, I was telling him the other night, I was like, you know, it's kind of bittersweet. We're moving on to bigger things. You know, he asked me to marry him on the girl, on the patio. So that's kind of a, a memory right. that we have. Mm-hmm. I'm really worried about my cat because my cat's going to be rehomed to his right. mom's and I'm, I'm in fear that he, he's been hanging around more lately. Like, I think he's told the others, hey, they're going to leave us. No, dude, we're leaving you. No, I don't yeah. want to say that, but I'm, I, I had an emo- I had an emotional moment. And my, he's like, what's to come in and love on me? And I'm like, really? Like you, the, in like the five years we've had you, you could care less about me. And all of a sudden, like I'm I'm your lap cat or your. I, I bet he doesn't ever want to leave James's parents' house. I know that he's going to be living a life of luxury. Exactly. Like he is going to be they're gonna pampered, lay, and they're going to love on him. I know. And so he's going to be like. This is the best thing that ever happened to me. I know. That's what I'm hoping. I, I have to think that way because she, I mean, she's definitely a cat lover. So I, if I couldn't think of a better home, so he'll definitely, you know, she's already got a plan for how to transition him into her yeah, the house. That's what I mean. So she's, so. she's great. So I just worry about him because he just, you know, he, and I think what happens is cats are very territorial. They're very, I mean, I've read this about him just because I was trying to, I thought it was kind of unique and different because we've moved everything out of the backyard. Right. So that was his hiding holes, you know, underneath the truck or the right. boat. Like, so he has been hanging out in the patio more because he has nowhere to hide and everything's moved and they don't like when something looks mm-hmm. different because they know the lay of the land and when something changes they get very right. skittish so like he has nowhere to hang out anymore like everything has gone out of the backyard and james has gone keeps bringing things to like the junkyard or the recycling it's so funny because we have to then drop off some stuff at the dump and it's like we make ten dollars here but then we have to pay the dump ten dollars yeah. to take that i'm like where <laughs> where are we at like yesterday when i sold something for 10 bucks he was like that's gonna pay for the tires disposal <laughs> and like this move is costing us more. i'm like well if you hadn't had so much junk you know, or collected. We could have gotten rid of it over the years. Like chicken wire. Like we had a roll of chicken wire, which we we took that to the storage unit. So we're just about at the brim of our storage unit. So hopefully, uh, you know, I, I'm not buying. Like I had to go to Walmart yesterday, and I'm like, I'm not buying anything because I don't want to pack it. Exactly. <laughs> I just need boxes. So. Oh gosh. Yeah. So it's uh. So it's gonna be an emotional roller coaster. So it's kind of like two things for us both this week. It's gonna kind of you're gonna be bringing in. Uh, baby Grady into the world and I'm going to be moving. So it's kind of like, those are, those are big, they're huge things. There's they're like, huge emotional. Well, yeah. we'll, their next episode, we'll just cry. Exactly. <laughs> It'll be over. Right. Okay, this release of It'll be like phase one right. done. Phase two. I got to raise a little, another little human and I got to live in a camper with other humans. We're going to have mimosas now. We are. <laughs> We're going to get you know, we'll, mimosas and bloody marys. And we'll take you long to get you drunk. You'll be a I'm cheap drunk. Sip. I have to walk you home. Exactly. Like, here she is. <laughs> and I'm, we're coming to take a nap now because exactly. we've been out here all day, day drinking. Exactly. It's been that kind of a day. Mm-hmm. Well, if you need, a, if you need a, to uh, get away, come to the camper. Come to the camper. I'm, I'll cook you some, I don't know, something on my Blackstone. <laughs> I feel like, yeah, like I think I think y'all have a nice setup. Y'all got a big camper. I know, but I'm part of all these like RV uh, Facebook groups, and some of the I've kind of realized that a lot of these people do it for fun because they're camping. I'm right. permanently doing this, so whatever their ideas are, I've got some of them like redo their backsplash. Some of them they really get creative. They've installed USB ports, and they're like they've done. I'm like, how is this fun? But I guess you make the best of it. So I have to really think to myself, um, Kim, you're not camping. Uh, this is your home, so make it how you want. James, is like, are we gonna have plants outside? I'm like, we can do whatever we Baby, want. Baby, you want plants? We will get you plants. We will get you plants. We'll make the best out of this. So I think it'd be fun, and I think just like this whole thing with this baby, and God's gonna do His plan for me. This right. for me. Y'all haven't found a place to move into yet because it's not right. That's right. That's it. You know. That's true. That's true. So that's uh, 
you know, we got to be picky because mm -hmm. this is going to be our forever home. We'll know whether or not we want to really invest in a forever home after six months of living in the camper together because <laughs> oh, our, oh my God. because our, our thought was to maybe retire and travel the countryside <laughs> like Yellowstone. I think this is a good trial run. You're going to be like, we need to build a house with two master suites because I'm not sleeping with you anymore, James. Right. I'm it's, done. It's own hallway and its own room and a lock. And I want to be able to come and go as I please. And I may or may not check in with you. Uh -huh. You having a contraction? Oh, my God, yes. Do I have to time it out? I've already been timing them. Are you? Yeah. How, how far along are they apart? Um, that's good, okay. Um, right now about... That one was about 12 minutes from the last Okay. No, about this longer than that, but it's hard to tell because as I was sitting here, I got a little more distracted. Yeah. We, and when I was sitting inside, it was like, oh, there it is, you know. Okay. So, but that one was a big one, so it was like, oh, my God. You know what it feels like? And I'm like, I'm looking them up. I'm like, am I having a contraction? Yes, you know? I I'm remember like, that. I remember looking I'm like, that up. Am I having poopy cramps? Right. Um, honestly, feels like I'm about to get my period. Okay. So that's and so that, that's so when I looked that up, and that was one of the things. Okay. Like, you know, you're like you're just so achy. Your back. Your like, uterus. I said your uterus. Your <laughs> uterus. Your uterus. <laughs> like your back hurts and everything. Your legs. Aches, your and leg you, hurts. Like, you your period. Like that's how like period cramps. That's okay. how I'm feeling. All right. Yeah. Well, guys, this week we're going to have, we're coming at you with a crazy laws episode. We had looked up a bunch of crazy laws and we wanted to see um, what's like in our state. I think we did a, a, a lot in our state. Yeah, there were. They're all in North Carolina, I think. Yeah, states mm -hmm. that we're like familiar with. Mm -hmm. So it's just crazy. These are actual documented laws and we just kind of decided to, to read through them and, and just laugh about them and try to break them down. So we hope you guys enjoyed this next episode. All right. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye. So I was doing some research on regards to crazy laws. And so surprisingly, a lot of these laws that I found are like legit, like they're in the books at like the county or the, the state level or the government. So are they like old laws? Some of them sometimes will be like an old law that like stays on the books, like that, that didn't evolve with time. Right, okay. right, exactly. And then of course you have like some crazy police officer or some prosecutor that tries to go and push yeah. for these people as well. So. My first one, these are based out of Florida because, you know, we're Florida girls. Well, so. and all, have you ever heard, like, on the news or, like, the radio, like, radio morning shows will, like, do, like, well, we have this crazy story and, like, 90% of them are out of Florida. Always out of Florida. <laughs> Always out of Florida. It's like, really? I mm -hmm. mean, way to show us up or try to, you know, exactly. show how great we are in Florida. It's either Florida or, like, Alaska. I think it's because it's just so damn cold up there. Well, and we have a lot of people that come here. But, however, you know, we made Oprah's list. Stuart, Florida made Oprah's list of, like, top 10 places to visit Stewart, florida did oh really yeah interesting i mean that's amazing i love oprah but i hope her people don't follow here in flocks oh my gosh no traffic's bad I, anyway I, I think i read an article like 500 to 600 people are expected to move to florida a day like where do you put those people i don't know i got some land for sale if they want to buy it though <laughs> <laughs> and that's why they all the crazies come here mm -hmm. so here's the thing i i think everybody has to be pre-warned that in sarasota any elephant tied to a parking meter is illegal, and you will get fined. Can you tie your elephant somewhere else? I don't know. I didn't say, <laughs> so I don't know if Kate, maybe... Is there elephant parking in Sarasota? Like, it's like handicap parking? You know, I was actually in Sarasota not too long ago, and I didn't see any signs for elephant, elephant parking. parking. No, because no. it didn't specify tying your elephant anywhere, just to a parking meter. Just to a parking meter, right? So I mean, you could literally park them. Um, I don't know to like a light pole. Yeah. Or I don't know. Can you put it in a parking spot in and a like parking put spot? down a stake, like tie yeah, them up, like at the Ruby Tuesdays or something. <laughs> like, the buffet. The buffet. This guy at the buffet. I didn't see any buffets in Sarasota. No. I was quite disappointed for sure. <laughs> but it definitely, it's actually crazy because Sarasota was like a very small town mm -hmm. and. And they have really grown. So maybe when they were smaller, there was a concern with elephants. Yeah, an elephant. Like, you see horse parking, but, like, who had the elephant that they parked it and they tied it? Oh. Somebody parked an elephant at a meter. And that's why it's a law. That's what I mean. Something and somewhere Man. went wrong. Maybe the circus came to town and one got a little loosey-goosey. Yeah, maybe. And someone took him for a spin. So, I guess. Um, well, I have a Florida one, and it's no... This one made me think of you because I know that when you're getting married... You wanted to have dwarfs at your wedding. You wanted them to pull you on a carriage. I did. With ponies. With a mini pony. Yes. Yes. I wanted a mini pony because me and James love mini ponies. Yes. 
and I wanted uh, two little people yes. to, in that were dressed up as a bride and a groom mm-hmm. to pull the little miniature pony and then pull me in a carriage. Um, it was funny because the wedding planner um, where I was getting married at, I she had asked me if I had any requests, you know, and that was one of my mm-hmm. requests. And she looked at me <laughs> like I was nuts. <laughs> she was like, I'm pretty sure I get you the carriage and the mini pony. But <laughs> the I'm, little people I don't know. But the other ones I don't know. So I ended up showing up on a gator. Like, yeah. remember? Yeah. We rode the gator. Yeah. The the side by side up there. I remember I told my sister Laura, and I was like, "No, Kim wants out. She wants to come." And she's like, "Oh my gosh, how do I get an invite to this wedding?" I, you know, <laughs> I I was afraid to. I didn't want to offend any of the right. little people. Um, I mean, I think that the majority of them do, you know, do it for a lot for entertainment. Right. You know, like I looked up like Sassy Cassie. You know, mm-hmm. she's like, you know, a stripper. Right. You know, I don't know if that was her speed, but she's like, like was like on tour or something. Right. I don't, but I remember doing some research on it. Um, but I was like, I just kind of laid that one to well, rest. I think you have an admiration for them. You don't know how poking fun no, at that. And I think this law is trying to be a protection for, like, for little people who are in the entertainment business. And so you are not allowed to toss a little person where liquor is sold. I, I think that that should be a law. Yeah, I mean, it should be anywhere. You shouldn't be able to toss a, a, a dwarf or a little person anywhere, not just where liquor is sold. That's insane. I can't imagine. I think it's degrading. Like, it's, I, you it's know, it's very it's degrading. like taking, it's just really, I don't know. Pick it up. So you can't toss a dwarf. While, where liquor is sold. Mm-hmm. So how does that happen? Because, I mean, Sassy Cassie, she has been on the stripper pole. I seen her at our local strip club, yes, back in the day, and mm-hmm. there was liquor sold there. Well, this and maybe is a new rule. Maybe, maybe, new maybe. Rule. I didn't look up that. Well, I didn't see my tosser. I just saw her crawl up the pole. Oh, you know? that's different. Because I do remember maybe, I don't know, like, eight, ten years ago, when I used to listen to, like, this morning show on the radio, they talked about, like, like, like they would have, like, bullseyes and do, like, tossing. So maybe that was, like, in the height of that, and they said, you know what, this is not acceptable. Like, I don't know. I'm glad it's a law. I agree with I'm you. I'm glad it's a law. Me too. So here's another crazy Florida law. A woman can get a ticket for falling asleep under a hairdryer. Really? Yes. Have you ever been under one? Like when you get your hair highlighted, you can go underneath one of the hair salons. See, I didn't even put two and two. I didn't even think of that kind. Uh-huh. Like at a hair salon, I yeah. was thinking an actual handheld oh, one. No. Like how the hell would you fall asleep <laughs> with that? Like you gotta hold it up. I mean, oh my! I didn't even think about yeah, that. Yeah, no, like people, like like older ladies, like they get their hair set, like with the hair dryer, or they like when you get highlights, they they put that on to like help bring it up. I think I we can ask Ian, but um, like yeah, so that's I could see like it's it's got that perfect little like noise cancellation. It's a little warm, still cold in the salon. Like it's a perfect sleeping scenario. I guess so because you know when I get my hair done, like uh-huh. every two weeks, as of my gray. I go underneath the hair dryer, you yeah. know, and I'll get, I'll prop my feet up, I'll get my U.S. Weekly or my people. Yeah. I, I can see that. I can see that. But to think that it's against the law, maybe because you got to, like, move your butt and, so they can get the next person in. Or maybe it's from people who have them at home. Maybe it's dangerous. But I guess if you did it in your house, how would they know? They wouldn't know. Yeah. I'll sleep all the time. So that's just, mm-hmm. a, that's a weird one to me. Uh, so here's another one. No, okay. here's the thing. I have broken this law multiple times. There's only I prob- no, no telling. I probably did it yesterday. <laughs> no farting in public after 6 p.m. So there's a time limit on it? There like- is a time limit. So no farting after 6 p.m. Is that because it's like dinner time and people think it's gross? I don't know. That's so I don't weird. know. I just can't imagine. I mean, if you, you know. it's asylum but deadly? Like, they wouldn't know until you were gone. How are they going to get you a ticket? They wouldn't know at all. No. So you want to hear something, a funny story? Always. So remember Blockbuster back in the day? Yes. Okay. Blockbuster was like, like amazing, right? So my mom, somehow my mom, we had, my mom had a, we had a fart machine. Okay. So okay. it was like a machine that and it had a remote so okay. you could stick it somewhere and from afar from a remote you could push the button and it would it's sound like a high tag whoopee cushion like yes exactly okay. so i remember my mom and i and my sister we went to blockbuster because that was like the big thing on a friday night right and we're i don't know 12 13 what i was 12 13 kelly was probably eight or nine and we put that my mom had like a luggage like a purse like right like the right. endless purse like that's what moms have you know or at least back then so we stuck stuck this machine 
in her purse before we left the house and we had the remote <laughs> so we well, all walked into blockbuster she was like looking at new releases right. which you know is on the back wall right. and i think the whole thing yeah so so and that's where the majority of people yes. are right? uh. so we're like down the sci-fi aisle or something and we started pushing the button <laughs> <laughs> and she it started making the fart noises and at first we were like watching her and like she was like looking around people were looking at her like nobody could understand where we this fart noise where it was coming from and <laughs> we just kept pushing it and doing it and finally she threw her purse down and was like Gah! then she realized uh-huh. that it was us because we were like giggling <laughs> i was rolling on the ground everybody started laughing so that was that was a big joke so i mean granted we, she was breaking the law then it was after 6 p.m it was that was a friday night yeah. you know so on a on a uh, a good friday night to go get some movies so i found that to be uh quite interesting I just want to know how they enforce that rig. What if they a crowd of people? You go sniffing butts? I don't yeah. understand. Like, how do you know get, where it came from? You ever get the walking farts? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you, some of those you can't control. We're all pregnant. I, I mean, know. you know. And it's I have tough. IBS, so, you know. <laughs> I mean, that's, it's just, it just happens for me. <laughs> so, here's another one for Florida. Man, you got a bunch for Florida. Well, well you know, we Flo- are wacky wag. We are wacky Florida. Man cannot be seen in public in any kind of strapless gown. <laughs> So, he, okay, so he can wear a spaghetti strap gown, but not a strapless gown. Okay. So, I mean, what does that say for drag queens? I mean, they wear strapless, right, in right. the clubs. So I don't know. They're breaking the law. They must be breaking the law. They got to get one strap, and they're good. And they're one strap, and then they're all right. And yep. maybe it's an invisible strap too. Yep. Did I tell you about my when I saw the guy in the? hospital gown his butt on ocean (laughs) boulevard no so a couple weeks ago when it was martin luther king day they Mm -hmm. were having a parade in downtown stewart and i was you know there was a lot of police activity just because of the parade and all of a sudden i looked over and it was right across from the school board the building building Uh off east ocean and i see this guy in like a hospital gown but then he turns around and his butt's exposed i mean you don't wear anything underneath your gown you're in the hospital but like the hospital is like maybe i mean it's it's quite close it's well i mean but not close enough i mean he done escape i thought what i'm thinking and like he was like just kind of moving his hands around and like he was like delirious didn't know where he was at i almost took a photo and was gonna post it on facebook but you know i just just for the sake of Pippa, <laughs> I yeah, did right. it. I did. I wanted to save his privacy, exactly. but that was just so random. I mean, these poor kids are at a Martin Luther King parade. And, and here comes this, this like guy from the psych ward, his hospital gown. <laughs> maybe he wanted to see the parade too. Maybe, Cam. maybe he did. Maybe he mm. did. And here's another one which I thought was just kind of weird. Um, it's illegal to skateboard without a license. In Florida, how do you get a license? A license? You have to have a license? I didn't realize. Where do you get the license? I don't know. I didn't know you could apply for a skateboard license. I have to look this up. I wonder if, like, that meant for, like, the skate parks. I don't know if you have to register. No, those are, like, done by jurisdiction. So some jurisdictions do require you to, like, go to their whatever and get, like, a skate card. Because if you live in that jurisdiction, then you can use the skate park for free or whatever. But I've never heard of a skate license. I don't know. That's where I read. That, so. Everyone's breaking the law then. Seriously. So what okay. other states you got? Uh, let's see. Okay, so this one I thought was really crazy. I don't know how this one they enforce this. So in the state of Alaska, you cannot get drunk in a bar and remain there. I had the same one. Did you? Yes. How? Are you insane? It's a bar. What's the purpose of going then if you can't get drunk? <laughs> You're drunk. You got to go. You got to go. I mean, I, I wouldn't survive in no. Alaska. I mean, I want to go to Alaska to live because I like. I think it's so great how cold mm. it is and how dark it is. Like that's just my kind of my kind of place. But if I can't get drunk in a bar, I ain't going. Yeah, like you can't. St- like I was like, okay, so where's like where does where do they know the threshold of this? Right. Like. You're on drink three, you go to drink four, does that mean you're drunk? Like, do they give you a breathalyzer? Like, hm, done, you're right. out. I mean, everyone's have... tolerance is different. Yeah, like, and who, who decides that? I wonder if, like, the bartenders are, like, certified in breathalyzers or have an idea. I mean, I guess they can kind of tell when they have to cut you I'm off. I'm sure. I mean, they're sober and you're not. Every Take it from me. Yes. So, Patricia can tell when someone's wine in this rig up and it's like... Oh, they had. Oh, they just had another drink. I can tell. Yeah, oh, that one that just takes you over the <laughs> top. Like, I sh- if I had just not had that one more yeah. drink, I just thought it was so crazy. Well, I don't know if it's because too. If you ever watch like Alaska, like they have a, a reality show with the cops on there. I mean, it's freezing cold. I know. They have about hot toddies there. Well, and they have snowmobiles. Mm-hmm. I mean, can you imagine driving or a sm- snowmobile mm-hmm. wasted? So I, I guess there's some some reality to that. I exactly. guess exactly. What else you got? I got. Uh... I got Alabama. Oh, what you got? I got Alabama too. What you Alabama. Got? It is illegal to drive with a blindfold. I had the same one. <laughs> I was like, you have to tell people that. Really? Yes. Like, why would you have to 
why would you want to drive with a blindfold? Yeah. I mean, I'm all about living on the edge. And I've never closed my eyes while driving, but I can't imagine it. I mean, this should not even be illegal. It shouldn't even be a law. Of course you should have your eyes open. Yeah. No, exactly. Um, did you know in Kentucky a woman cannot marry more than three times? More than three times? Yep. Oh, I guess. So I, well, I'm yeah, only on marriage, too, yeah. so I should be safe. And the crazy thing is, so I know that there's uh, somebody I know that has a friend that's going to be married for, like, her seventh time. Really? Yeah. No joke. Yep. I know a Karen and who has like been having married nine times. Nine? Yes. Is she having, like, this person's, like, full-on having, like, a wedding, like, expects you to be there. Like, this is, like... Like she, exp- like, she expects you to be there, like, it's the first or second wedding. Like, she's having, like, another, like, wedding, like, like bridal shower, like, wedding stuff. Like, at some point, like, can I get... Listen, just use my gift from last time. Seriously. Yeah. I would have it down pat by my seventh time. Yeah, because she... Oh, my God, she's, like, a party that you've already planned. It would six be. Six other times. Right, just a different theme. <laughs> I would just, like, go, like, a glow party. I mean, if you really enjoyed... Like, I really enjoyed my wedding day and the wedding party. I wish I was a guest at my own wedding. That was something that I wish I could have been, like, because I... We had done a really... I felt a really good job planning it. I think everyone had a really good time. I wish I had been a guest and not the star or whatever. Right. Um, but, like, if you really enjoyed that part of it, like, this is the way, I guess, to continuously have that party over and over again. That is crazy. So you can't be married more than three times in Kentucky. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, in Arizona, did you know that it's illegal for a donkey to sleep in the bathtub? Well, that sucks. What if he's supposed to sleep in the bathtub? I mean, I, I mean, I don't understand how you get a donkey in your house to sleep in a bathtub. Like, he can only sleep in the bed or the barn? I don't no know. bathtub. Maybe, like, I can't imagine, maybe, I don't know why that would even be a law. That doesn't make no damn sense to me. a donkey can't come in your house? Yeah, I want a donkey. I wouldn't mind having a donkey and putting him in a bathtub. That'd be, be kind of fun. <laughs> Did you know in Louisiana you can't send someone a surprise pizza? What? Yeah. That's like the ring and knock, right? When you when you hit a doorbell and you run off. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, I wanted to do that to somebody so bad. Remember back in the day, you could pull something like that yes. off. I mean, there's so many trackabilities. Yeah, now. I guess you're, I call the pizza place and they're like, "Hey, you want the supreme and the cheese and the teriyaki garlic wings? We'll be there in 20 minutes." I don't even have to call. I don't have to tell them what I want. They right. know. They oh, just they yeah. just kind of know mm-hmm. exactly. So knowing that I was born in North Carolina, of course, I had to look up some laws just because I wanted to see what's what's up with my home state. So it is against the law for kids under seven years old to go to college. Really? Yes. You think that's an issue they have there? I, I, I don't know if it's an issue they have there, but apparently they have. I mean, I'm assuming that maybe some uh, parents thought maybe their, their kids were uh, prodigies and maybe that's what they should be I doing mean, at seven years old. If your child is seven years old and is that smart and needs to go to college, and I hope you're smart enough to move out of North Carolina. Absolutely. I would think so. And, I mean, and they probably wouldn't go to college in North Carolina. They'd no. probably go to like Yale Harvard, or Harvard yeah. or like Princeton or something. Yeah, that's pretty I mean, There's crazy. some really great schools in North Carolina, but if you can't go there at seven, then I guess you're going to have to move. I bet Get you a mom who was really pissed off that her kid didn't get accepted into and some other seven year old did and mm-hmm. some sport and said you know what you think your kid's so smart I'm gonna I'm gonna mm-hmm. lobby for this law did you know in uh, Vermont it is illegal for a woman to wear false teeth without her husband's approval oh hell no. <laughs> Oh my gosh, so what if you don't have your husband's approval? You're going to go around toothless? Yes! Oh, in Vermont? Uh, yeah, and like, so, like, how is that enforced? Like, do you go to the dentist and you're going to get your dentures? And like, okay, we need your husband to sign off on this? That's insane. What if it, you're married when he died? Oh my gosh, you'd have you to put in teeth. the will. You put in the will. I, from this day forward, allow you to no. wear your teeth. You don't put it in there because she can't find another man. Oh, she can't find another man. Or maybe she can't. Maybe she's. Maybe they like her better. No teeth. And Vermont's such a small, like, quaint state. Well, I like, just it's like a granola kit, like state. Like you would yeah. think, like they would be so far past stuff. Like maybe, and maybe it's an old law. Maybe it's an old law. But I, I thought it was hilarious. Well, I've got another thing about elephants. Okay, because <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm, I like the elephants. In North Carolina, there's a lot of cotton fields. Okay, okay. You, and you've seen them. You can't use an elephant to plow a cotton field. Just throw, throwing it out there. Okay. <laughs> So first of all, where are you getting these elephants? They're everywhere. I mean, I think I'm going to get a donkey, I'm going to get an elephant, and I'm going to get a monkey, and I'm just going to go have a heyday. Yeah, but to keep them out of your tub, keep don't tie them to the parking meter, and don't plow your field. Don't plow your field with the cotton. Did you know in Virginia, uh, sex is banned, except for married couples? Sex is banned in except Virginia. unless you're married. Unless you're married. You know, that's an old school law. And what if, it's like leasing a car, right? Right, or, right. Like, You do not buy a car unless you test drove it, okay? Right, right. right? Well, you know, when you're in an old school religion kind of state. You know what? To my mother and my mother-in-law, cover your ears. Because 
You have to test drive it before you marry you it. Now, here's the okay. crazy thing. The state right next to West Virginia, it's a heyday over there. There are no laws over there. You can have sex with your cousin, you yeah. know? And it's okay. It's unacceptable. I don't think you... I think you can't marry your first cousin, though. It's going be a second first, cousin, maybe. your maybe. second or third cousin. Yeah. That's just creepy and weird anyway. Yeah. Oh, God. But they used to do that way back in the day. Well, maybe, like, some some communities are so small and they have so many families so like you know like jason's dad's from west virginia and there's a lot of siblings and then his aunt who just passed away had like 11 of her children had 11 children so when you get into communities that are like small communities and they have tons of children like i could see where even people being down don't even know they're related right you know that'd be crazy if like if you submitted your information ancestry and found out that you oh, were girl, related so we did ours yeah and i Jason and I are not related. Well, that's good. Like, I got a little sketch because it said I had relatives in Sebring, and that's where his mom's from. Oh, geez. I was like, oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. And I had zero chance that Jason Cooper and I are related. I just hope that, like, if I ever do Ancestry, that it tells me that I'm, like, related, like, Tupac or something. You no, know, I just got an email today that said I had a new relative, right? And so I went on there, and it was, not, it was like, a second or third cousin. But then I realized, because I had this cousin that kept popping up, and it said it was a first cousin on my mom's side. And I just never really crossed my mind to realize what that meant. So you know what a first cousin means. Right. It's a That's first cousin. Lisa, David, Kelly. You right. Know, those are my first cousins on my mom's side. Hmm. So I got to do a little dig in here because I don't know who this person is. That's so crazy. Yeah, some and that's because they family stuff. I should probably stop talking right there because I'm not quite well, sure. Um, till I get some research, I got, I guess some people got some splaining to do. Hmm, that's interesting. Very mm -hmm. interesting. Well, you know, I found out last year that I had a brother. You know, right. after forty some years, mm -hmm. um, and it w so it would be interesting to see, like through ancestry or you know any of those, to find mm -hmm. out your DNA, just to kind of find out your lineage and where you come from. And you know, I tell James I'm Indian. I'm part Indian, Cherokee Indian, and he claims I am not. Well, you need to get it done because Listen, I found out that I am Arabian. You're Arabian. I, you have that skin tone. I, I can do. see that now that you say that. I am. I'm Arabian, and and I found out you're exotic. Like my on uh, my woman woman's like heritage like side, uh, Marie Antoinette we were related. Oh yeah. Yep. Very cool. Yeah, I don't know how, but like, probably like you gotta go maybe get some money out of the deal. Probably not. I no. think like a lot of women are traced all the way back. It's like this yeah. H seven or something. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Don't well, quote me on it. Do your own and then figure out. I don't know what yeah. you're talking about. But well, my yeah. mom's like, she's like, you know, your chair, your, she said she's, well, I don't know, one quarter Cherokee Indian. I don't, mm -hmm. so I don't know what that makes me. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do this and find out. And then I'm going to live in the reservation <laughs> and I'm going to get my money or I'm going to go run a casino. That's it. Well, you're not allowed in a casino up there if you're Indian. That's right. That's right. You're not allowed to go in. That's right. But you get to reap the benefits of it. You do. They got some good money up in, Cher in Cherokee, North Carolina. Did you know that um, in Idaho? Cannibalism is prohibited unless it's let in this un, under life threatening reasons. Okay. All right. So this is my thing. So like I could see like in Idaho, like maybe like something happens and you're like hiking or something and your friend died and you had to eat them, I guess. But That's what, right. Would you eat me? And I don't, I don't, it depends on how life threatening this was. I mean, literally if we had been out there for months and you're only thing left for me, I mean, I might have to, Kim. I don't know. Well, what body part would you eat first? I don't, I can't think. I don't know. It's just so weird. I don't know if I can go that far. That is weird. I, it's so weird, you'd right? You'd have to first, yeah. You'd have to first I don't like me. meat on the bone, so I don't need like, <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> so you're going to go for my heart. Go yeah. figure. They always do. Sure. I, I might go for your liver. Maybe I'll get drunk as I <laughs> eat it, and then this will be better. I, there might not be much of my liver left. You might want to go to another, another <laughs> but, organ. But I'd be mean, like, how did they set this up? Like, were people eating people? Like, That's, and like, you know, like. Like, listen, li you guys only got lost two days ago. It wasn't really life threatening. You would have made it. <laughs> and now it's a law. That's crazy. Yeah. I don't know. There. I mean, it gets kind of cold there, I imagine, right? Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. I can see, like, because there are, like, remember, like, that story, like, in the 80s, was it, or whatever, a plane crash, and, like, the people were doing cannibalism oh, that's to stay right. alive. And, like, I mean, I do understand that push to the limit. Like, you may have to do things you would never normally do. Right. You know, I mean, I guess <laughs> there's law should state candle like is prohibited if you murdered the person like that should be how it reads right that's like, crazy yes mm -hmm. so i have another one for okay. north carolina i'm sure no alcohol for people playing bingo that's bull how else are you supposed to play i know you that's know why crap. i think because if you have you ever played bingo and had like 10 cards in front of you Oh, you'd be you'd be here for drugs. You'd be like, bingo! 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 I bet you that's why. Because exactly. somebody's like, oh. bingo! Bingo! I, thought, I thought they said B four. Yeah. No, it was B ten. Bit B ten. So I could I could see that. Totally get that one. Uh, let's see. Did you know that in New Mexico, idiots cannot vote? 
a New Mexico idiot. Who, who, who's deemed <laughs> an idiot? Yeah, that's what I was like, oh, I'm like that. That we, there'd be nobody to vote. There would be nobody to vote. Have you ever been in New Mexico? No, I went to. New and I don't Mexico. mean there's only idiots in New Mexico. I mean, what if that was like a U.S. thing? Like, and who decides who the idiot is? Like, like what's the caliber of that? And then like maybe they took an IQ test. Yeah, but they I mean, scored under a certain percentage. That it must an be idiot? like what they considered an idiot. But like, um, it seems like you take away their. Uh, constitutional rights i would think so i mean i may not agree with their vote because they're an idiot but um i went to new mexico once i went to albuquerque scariest place on earth i was it was very i i just wouldn't want to go back really yeah i just wasn't it just i was there by myself i was there for business and it was just it was just very depressing and they had a lot of um homeless people not there's anything wrong with that um, but a lot, of, I guess the number one place for mentally, um, ish challenging homeless people. Well, so that's why the idiots can't vote. Maybe that's why. why yeah. So and I've heard that other places in New Mexico are beautiful. So I would like to definitely check those out. Yeah. Maybe day. you're in a bad part of town. That's oh, definitely Oh yeah. Sirens strange. all night. And I was staying in the Weston, which is a fairly nice hotel. Right. Oh yeah. Yeah. So I was like, we're in that. You're in a nice hotel in a bad part of town. Yep. Exactly. Man, this one would get my family in trouble in Tennessee. It's illegal to share your Netflix password. Oh, you know what? Mm. I'm using somebody's right now and they don't know it. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Thank God we don't live in Tennessee. They would know that, though, because you can see who's on there. Well, you can take you can uh, you can take them off. Well, depends. Well, you're right. They have to go into their settings. Yeah. If you see. So I've got strategic about it because you can put their names on the buttons. Right. right? Or like you could. There's kids. Right. Right. Which kids kind of like it kind of limits um, limits you what you can do. But if you go under someone else's name that, you know, right, won't tell on you. And then you could, but then it, it kind of changes everything that they've been watching. Well, you know? we would have that. So, like, it would be um, because you previously watched this, you have this. And I'm like, when did you watch this, Jason? He's like, it's not me, it's Steven. I'm like, it nothing weird. It was just right. like something that is so poor random. hub or something. No, it was not that. <laughs> no, but it was something that was like didn't make sense. Like, like, you watched that? Like, it was like you took the time. Like, it doesn't seem your style. He's like, no, it's not me. And then it got to the point, like, so Netflix limits now the number of devices, right? Right. So we have ours. Gavin is on it, obviously. Um, and I think we have it, like, in the living room. But I think Jason's parents use a different one in their room. But then Jose, Jason's buddy out in uh, Colorado, was using it. What got to the point that Jose was watching something? We couldn't watch TV. Oh, hell no. Oh, no. I was like, I was like you better tell Jose, listen. He got to put his show on pause. He can pick it up in a little bit. We're going to like for him. It's the time change difference. Right. Like, we're going to bed. Give right. us forty five minutes, and we'll be sleeping, and you can pick your show back up. But I mean, like, yeah. And so finally, um, Jason went and just took everybody off and changed the password. And not because we're a jerk, but we couldn't watch TV for the stuff we paid for. Yeah. Well, I'm still in, I'm still using somebody's Netflix, and I won't disclose who that person is. So unless you might be using mine under Gavin. No, (laughs) No, but I did want to use your Hulu. I know we talked about that. Hulu is really crazy. Like, it will know that if you sign on Hulu at your house and we're on Hulu at our house, it knows IP address and it won't let both of us watch. Okay, very cool. I didn't know that. Well, right now we're just sticking with Amazon and then we're utilizing someone else's Netflix. I don't want to... On cover who that person is because right. they may know. They and then may I, take you off. Hey, save him. I'm a, remember, I'm cheap, so it's yeah. saving me nine dollars no, I mean, a month. Can, I mean, is it as long as it's not illegal in Florida, you can use mine. You know, that's long right. As I, but if I need to get on, you got to get off. That's right. Nothing wrong with that. So, mm-hmm. did you know in North Carolina that there is no happy hour drinks? Well, they're dry. So many. So many areas in North Carolina are dry. So dry. Oh. So what's funny is going back. Oh my gosh. So. 15, 15 years ago, I would say. Well, no, maybe, maybe, yeah, but 15 years ago, you know, I, I went back to North Carolina. Um, I didn't have a relationship with my father. Mm-hmm. Um, we were, it was kind of years had went by since I had seen him. So I located him and I flew up to North Carolina and pretty much just walked on his doorstep and just said, hi, I'm your daughter. Mm-hmm. And I it probably had had 20 years had passed by since he recognized me. I mean, I was an adult. I right. was a mother at that point. But the funny thing is, prior to that, is that I flew in on a Friday night. I drove by the house. I was like, okay, I can do this. Get up the next morning on a Sunday. Or no, oh, excuse me. It was a, um, it was actually, I flew in Thursday night because Friday was good Friday because Easter was Sunday. And I got up Friday morning. I'm like, all right, I'm going to do this. I got in the car. I'm going to drive up to the house. And I, I knocked this. on the door and nobody answered. I was like, well, maybe he's at work. Right. 
So I literally drove, which happens to be the town I was born in. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so it was kind of, it was just one, one county over. There was, I, I mean, I walked into a Applebee's at 9 o'clock on a Friday. I want a Bahama Mama. Right. Like, they had the big picture of, like, I'm like, I want that one because now I want to get liquored right. up. Right. Because now I want to get liquid courage because I think I have to go back now. Right. After 5, right? I'm going to sit at the Applebee's and get drunk all day. <laughs> 9 to 5 job. Not happening. Not happening. They don't. They didn't serve alcohol. They wouldn't serve alcohol, and they wouldn't serve alcohol until after five o'clock. And I'm like, well, what kind of drought? What kind of in Florida? What kind of brunch do you have around here? You don't have like, no, the Bloody Marys and mimosas. It's Good Friday for good, goodness sake. We yeah, should be. I mean, we're celebrating. You couldn't buy alcohol at the grocery. The Piggly Wiggly. They had the blinds down. You couldn't buy any alcohol. So finally, when I went two counties over, it's not a dry county. And you know, guess what I found. Hmm. Ugh, Mad Dog 2020. Oh my god, so funny. Oh, we have that in, inside because Jason's dad always jokes about we would be going like, "Hey, we're gonna go out and eat anything." Is like, "Give me some Mad Dog." Mad Dog 2020. You know, like they don't drink, so they. Have, and so last time in North Carolina, we came back from the liquor store with a bottle of Mad Dog 2020 <laughs> for him, and it sat on the thing at camp. And now it sits inside the house like Jason's mom has it set up like as, like, as a, a prop. Part. Yes. <laughs> well, hey. That's not, I mean, when you get desperate and you don't have anything, you'll pop that sucker open. I, I think we drank that in high school. I think so. Yeah. I think it was like one of the few, and it's like a malt liquor. It's yeah. not even that good. Needless to say, I had a, and I wasn't by myself. I did have a DD, so I wasn't, you yeah. know, I just was in, I was tuning right. it up. And I had a couple, and then, well, a couple bottles, and then, <laughs> then um, we went back, and then I had more liquid courage, so, but that's crazy to me that I don't have any happy hour. Do you much money they're losing right I now? I know. And I have a happy hour? That's stupid. It is crazy. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, in Mississippi, there's no profanity in public or the use of vulgar or obscene language with two or more people present. Okay, I agree with that. So if we're having a one-on-one -on -one conversation, I can say whatever the hell I want. Right, but if you add another person to the mix, <laughs> oh, it is they're not, not down. You cannot have. Oh, you know what? I bet two or more people because vulgar language. Like, what if you have like like bedroom talk? Right, right. That's not illegal. That's not illegal. But if you. If you add a third person with in. two or more people. So I can talk, only talk dirty to myself. <laughs> <laughs> I do that all the time. I wouldn't have a problem with that. I wonder if with like a recording device, what that has. I wonder if they add that as a third person in. I don't know. Like, like a like, FaceTime? Like, yeah, I mean, like, so there were two or more people. So literally, you'd have to be talking dirty to yourself. Right. Which I ain't got no hey, problem with that. you looking good tonight. I have, to, I have to do that every day just to prep myself up. Like, dang, you look good in those That's pants. That's a prep talk, not no dirty talk. Well, I'll, it, I'll go wherever I need to go. I'll talk <laughs> dirty whatever It depends I need. on what your day has in store. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so this one's funny because I think there was a movie about it. In okay. South Carolina, there is no dancing on Sundays. Oh yeah, Footloose. Remember, I don't. I is that where it was based out of? I, I should have looked that up, but I think it's maybe based out of South Carolina. I don't know. Um, Footloose, but yeah, that's God's day. That's why you can't. That's dance God's on day. That's, God's day. that's why you can't dance on mm -hmm. Sunday. And the Bible does say you have to dance, but yeah, South Carolina. You... What about well, what about them like those churches that they do a whole lot of like gospel like like Pentecostal churches? Yeah, like yeah. how do they 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 dance on Sundays? You sway. I, they sway. You know. They might put you out in the Holy Spirit too, mm -hmm. knock you out. I don't know. I, I I don't know. I don't know where that comes from, but no dancing in South Carolina on Sundays. So I don't think uh Oklahoma. You know. Footloose is Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well then but yeah, so who knows? You can't dance on Sundays. You know, in uh South Carolina as well that a male over sixteen cannot seduce a woman by falsely promising marriage to her. A man over 16? Yep, so if you're over, like, you're 17 and you tell her, like, oh, baby, I want to, you know, let's have sex tonight. I promise, like, I'm going to marry you. It's against the law. Really? Yep. You know, it's funny because I was listening to another podcast on Dateline, which mm -hmm. I love the Dateline, Dateline shows. podcast. Well, the podcast is the best because there's no commercials. I know. Oh, my God. And so I Lester know. comes back on and you pick right back. It's like, right. oh, my God, it's right. the best. Sorry. <laughs> and they're actually going back to, like, like 2012. 14 mm -hmm. and 2015. So there was one I was just listening to recently that this man, he was from like the UK and he was pretty much a fraud and he had multiple wives. He had 13 children and he had met someone in the U S and she fell in love with them. And, and so they were going to get married. Well, come to find out she discovered that he was a fraud. So he initially got charged with rape as it was, it was, he was charged with rape under deception 
It was the first time, it was a law. Okay. But it was the first time that a prosecutor ever used, used it in it. the U.S. Where it wasn't because she was, what the, the, the claim was is that because he was lying to her and telling her all of these things, she was having sex with mm-hmm. someone who wasn't who they said they wa- right. were. Mm-hmm. So because of that, it was deceptive. Interesting. Isn't that interesting? That is very interesting. It should be. I mean, he's deceptive. Like, right. He's lying. Right. And did you know in Nebraska, nobody with an STD can get married? Mm. So do you, you know what? There are some states that do tests, do blood tests. Yeah, they do blood work. Florida does not make you do blood no, work. You know, like, not that I have an STD, but Florida does not make you do blood work. Well, I think what he was like, a, like, what do you have to read the little booklet and then like you have to wait three days? Yeah, you have to read the, yeah, the, the brochure, the booklet, the, I don't know what they call it, but yes. Let's see. Uh, so in Maryland, oral sex is illegal. Mm. And how do they bust you? I guess your partner tells on you. Oh my gosh, mm-hmm. that would be awful. And I wonder if it's equal to give or receive or both. You know, well, hey, if I hit you up, you hit me up, then we don't tell nobody. They cancel <laughs> now, each well, other now out. You, now you cover your bases. Nobody can tell. Wow. Yeah. Also, in Maryland, you know, you can't uh, sleeveless shirts in public. You cannot wear them. Really? Hmm, so no tank tops. No. Or, no it doesn't sli- say like men or women, so okay. I'm not quite sure. But obviously, Maryland doesn't have Florida weather. I mean, no. Although men's tank tops should always be banned. Right. I, I can't do it. I can't do it either. James wear a tank top? No. If he did, I'd, I'd, I would I'd have die. to slap him. I would die laughing. It's, it's like a woman beater. I cannot stand it. I can't stand the, the men's like tank top. I can't stand a men's sleeveless like cut off shirt. Like, no. I don't care. I don't even care if you have this amazing body, right? Like you're this 19 year old stud out there, right? I, it's. You I know why they do it. They show it. up their muscles. Yeah, but 90% of the people who do it don't have muscles. And the ones that do are also the same guy that wears his hat backwards. Like, That's it's, true. Like Jersey Shore. Yeah, like I just, it's not my style to those who it is good for you because then those men have somebody they can hook up with. But yeah, not my flavor. Mm, and sure. then uh, in New Jersey, did you know it is illegal for someone to carry out a grave criminal act if, and they have additional charges if they're wearing a bulletproof vest. Say that one more time. So if like, you go and... Sh- do like a grave criminal act like shooting somebody okay. and you are wearing a bulletproof vest at the time not only are you charged with murder or capital murder or whatever the charge might be you have an additional charge for committing that crime wearing a bulletproof vest really i bet you that's because you have all intention that, that shows premeditated oh, yeah, yeah but because... i mean like here's the thing you just went and killed somebody do you really care that your charge went for an additional charge of wearing that bulletproof vest no and I'll tell you, there is a new Netflix series that I watched mm-hmm. on my borrowed Netflix <laughs> that I borrowed called I Am the Killer. Oh, I'm a killer. Yeah. It's it's season two now. Season two. So yes. got hooked into that last it's good. night. Yeah. yeah we put really it on good. our must watch for season two because we watched season one. Like, it is really good. It is really good. Yeah. Definitely watch mm-hmm. it. It's very interesting in the criminal minds of people and how they get into these bad mm-hmm. circumstances. And yeah, it's really yeah. good. And I think my last one is in Connecticut. You cannot sell a term paper or an essay. Ooh. Well, right. You know, where that's where Harvard is, is in Connecticut, right? Yeah. And so I wonder, though, like, because you can go on, um, what are they, like? Websites. Websites. Like, you can Google yeah. things. Like, so if you don't sell it. Right. You just upload it. Like, is that okay? Mm. Because, Plagiarism of some sort, I would imagine. But I mean, like, because, I mean, you can go on sometimes. You can Google, like questions like that you're given from and like they've already been given like listen the professors are there they don't want to do all the work either of creating new questions they're just using a question bank just like students are looking up question banks right right so i wonder like if you just upload because you can just upload you don't have to you don't get paid for it, you just upload it like i wonder if that's still illegal mm, i wonder if you're just i guess in the context of how you're uploading it yeah I guess it would depend. Because I do a lot with uh, Grammarly, like even with our um, our blog postings, I'll run them through there just mm-hmm. to, I mean, just yeah. to make sure my stuff kind of lines up. So if it ever doesn't and I messed in a grammar mistake, I did try. Okay, I ran it through a whole other server. Better you than me because yeah. I would have had it all jacked up. Well, but I think that's what starts to happen. So, like, I would do it with, like, my um, term papers and also, like, my uh, thesis papers and things like that and run it through it there for grammar. I wonder if they become, like, a bank. Sure. I'm sure. There's a reason why oh, it's yeah. free. They're banking my papers and whatnot for everybody else to take a look at for I 
ideas. Right. Um, so I wonder how, like, I wonder that, how that works. works. I didn't sell it. I know Taylor told me that she had to come up with another project on what she wants to be when she grows mm-hmm. up. This is, like, the fifth one she's done. And I said, just copy the other four, you know, or yeah. one of the other four. She's like, no, Mom, they'll know. I'm like, they won't know. She can, and she can copy this, because I had to do a paper once, and then, like, took, like, another class, another law class, and um, it was essentially the same paper. I'm like, so stupid, right? So I would take, like, sections, and they told me I plagiarized it. I was like, but it's my work. And they said, as long as you cite it. Interesting. She can cite a previous paper of hers and okay. do it as that. Oh, very interesting. And it's not, it's not plagiarism as long as she cites her own work. Okay. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. All right. Great. Well, thanks, guys, so much for joining us today for Weird Laws. We hope that we kind of educated you guys on some of the things that we found. And don't forget to check out our blog at whathappenedthisweek.com. And just remember, we're, we're just, just saying, saying what, what you're, you're thinking. thinking.